just locked the door and oh hey how's everyone doing um yeah just we're here on grizzly mountain been a little while since i've been here oh the cows are gonna start and um i thought i'd do a quick little video showing you guys what i've been doing i always pop in most of your guys' streams and say oh i've been working on grizzly and i mean this is mostly what i've been doing so we got the house the garage, like before. I pulled the mini map so you can see where I am on the map. So, not too far from the sawmill. Not that far up the road. Got the cows over there. We got a little shed here. This is about the first building I put up when I moved here. Got another little shed here just to put equipment in. Nothing really has a designated spot, just kinda wherever. Got the grass dryer. Ready to pop out some hay. I got the TMR Global Company mixer, which is really loud when you get close to it. I believe, yeah, the trailer just about filled up. Got old Bill's cabin here. Can't get rid of that. Gotta keep it. Should have left a couple more trees around it, but that's alright. Keeps it warm in there. Little field up there, which I'm not too crazy about. Might keep it. Might get rid of it. We'll see. So we'll go take a look over by the cows quick. Hop in this tractor. Whoops. Drop that off. Got some greenhouses. Little yard for the house. Got the cows with all the gates open so they can just roam free, I guess. Get that taken care of. Got my bunker. Filled right up to the brim with some si or with some uh, brewing silage, so to speak. This field back here is all plowed and it's been replanted as grass. I did have it as an arable, but I'm thinking I'm going to put it back to grass, so that's what I did. Straw and TMR in that building there. Got the poop picker upper system. My plow. I don't know why the plow's there. I have to ignore that for now. Got the spreader back there, ready to get filled up. Oops. So moving right along. I, I do gotta have a bit of a tidy up. I got the seed maker. I'm gonna plant some wheat and start producing our own seeds. Got the sheep. I did have the sheep over there in the other yard, but um, it was one of the modding welt buildings, and I didn't like the way it was working out with everything. And plus I wanted to have this, the, uh, what is that, the animal pen extension. So, we moved the sheep over here, got the silos, got the magic silo, as our old buddy Six Wheeling would call it. <laughs> and down here is a little bit, some more arable fields. Got winter oats planted. Here on the right, it is the second day of really autumn. I run... Nine day seasons on this? Yeah, I'm doing nine day seasons on this one. I'm using the Oregon Geo. Just because Grizzly Mountain seems like it'd be pretty close to Oregon weather. To me, anyway. So I got these two fields I'm going to do with winter wheat. We'll get that taken care of. And down here is another sawmill. This is the one that produces the big boards. And the, uh, the, like, end pieces. It's pretty loud when you get close to this, too. Just drive over that. So, yeah, it produces them two pallets right there. These ones, and these ones. That is loud in there. Load it up with the telehandler, put it on this here flatbed, haul it down to the wood mill, and they sell us wood chips, so that's kind of whatever. There ain't really no others. That many other. Hold on. I can't hear nothing. There's only the one, one main sell point for crops and the one for wood, as everyone knows with Grizzly. So, I just sell them as wood chips, that's good with me. I just like having the pallets, the boards, to load up on the flatbed. 
Boy, I gotta get away from that sawmill. That is loud. That's terrible. So here is where we're still doing some forestry work. Expanding out that way a little bit more. In the future, this will probably be another big old field right here. Still got some stumps. Still got a lot of big trees I want to take out of here first. And possibly add in more of these uh, global company buildings like the sawmill there. Kind of start to make my own little kind of half a town over here. And right over here. Pops us right back out at the main farm. So yeah, guys. That's what I've been working on as far as Grizzly Mountain goes. Put a lot of time in this so far. And I really don't want to leave it behind just yet. Hopefully this little tractor will pull this. Oh yeah. But I'm, I've really enjoyed it. Kind of making my own farm. Having to clear the land as you go. I did get the map off of this Mr. Six Wheeling tonight. The Beaver Creek. The one him and Mr. T-Bone have been working on. Which you can, where you can kind of do the same thing. You can sell crops on that one too. So maybe down the road we could switch. But I got about 66 hours so far on this save game. So we'll be sticking with this one for a little while. Hopefully I didn't show you around too quick. I'll get this ready to dump in here. And another really cool part about this game save compared to some of my others is this was literally more of a start from scratch than any other one I've played through so far. Like I literally started just making money off the forestry and then once I got a field going I was able to make a little bit of money off crops and now I got the cows and the sheep so I'm able to make money off of them as well. So this farm is definitely uh oh it's definitely started to become profitable after all this time there we go a little tractor that could so I'll let you guys get a chance to look around a little bit more I also did add in the manure trader because those cows produce a lot of manure way more than I need to fertilize my fields with so uh, actually I probably should just take this back over to the mixer probably fill it up again I have tried, tried to leave some of the trees too as a little bit of a scenery type thing especially to break up the farm from the fields this water tank does have to get removed down the road and that's about it. We're in the second day of autumn. The only thing I've really got left to do, I gotta plow that field up there. Oh man, they're so loud. Get some winter crop in the ground on those two fields. And then just work on forestry until the spring and summertime roll around and we can harvest again. So that's a little bit of a look at what I've been doing. Not some crazy extensive let's play video, just just kind of want to show what I've been doing farming wise. I haven't streamed it in at least a couple weeks. And um, I think that's everything. Greenhouses, house, garage, shed, shed. Some global company stuff I'm really starting to enjoy. Um, this land here I couldn't really get to work down any flatter. That's why it just kind of is what it is. I do have another area right up here on this corner. Yeah, pretty much that little area where it's flat. I've been kind of using it as a grass field. But it, I should plow it up and do do a planted grass field. It seems to do better than the in-game grass. So yeah. It's kind of a short video figure it'd be an easy watch for you guys and I hope you all liked the video and I will see you all next time